Welcome to Tennis Updates. Rafael Nadal withdraws from the Monte Carlo Masters, saying, My body just won't allow me. Novak Djokovic passes Roger Federer for another historic tennis milestone. Carlos Alcaraz is forced to withdraw from the Monte Carlo Masters due to a right forearm injury. Ex-coach of Novak identifies ideal guy for Novak Djokovic before of clay season. Danielle Collins wins the Charleston Open, extending her incredible run. And last, we'll discuss the top 5 ATP tennis rankings and any potential changes to them in light of the Monte Carlo Masters. The 22-time Grand Slam champion Rafael Nadal decided to pull out of the Monte Carlo Masters on Thursday. It was expected that this tournament would be his ATP Tour return. Sadly, I must inform you that I will not be participating in the Monte Carlo tournament. On social media, the 37-year-old Spaniard stated, My body just won't let me. Djokovic, 36 years and 321 days old, established the record for the oldest player to occupy the number one spot in the ATP rankings. He surpassed 36-year-old Roger Federer by 320 days, which he achieved in 2018. According to Tennis.com, Djokovic is one of eight men's tennis players who have reached the top of the rankings while in their 30s. Before the first match against Felix Auger alias sign, Carlos Alcaraz withdraws due to injury. Italy's Lorenzo Sonigo replaces the 20-year-old Spaniard in the men's singles tournament. The Spaniard issued the following statement on X, I have been working in Monte Carlo and attempting to recover from an injured pronator Terry's in my right arm, but it was not feasible and I cannot participate. Joran Ivanishevich, the former coach of Novak Djokovic, talks about Nenad Zimonyuk, the new coach of Novak. Ivanishevich said, I don't know how long Novak intends to continue playing, but Nenad Zimonyuk is the ideal guy alongside him right now. We've been through a lot together, and I adore him. He has extensive tennis expertise, but most importantly, he knows Novak very well. Danielle Collins, an American, won the WTA Charleston Open clay court title, defeating Daria Kasatkina of Russia 6-2, 6-1, extending her impressive run of success into her late career. Collins' success comes only a week after she won the Miami Open 1000 Hard Court Championship, and her back-to-back -back wins will propel her to 15th in the global rankings. Alexander Zverev now ranks 5th with 5,415 points, with a 90-point dip expected by next week. This week's number 4 is 28-year-old Daniil Medvedev with 7,165 points, with a 180-point reduction till next week. Carlos Alcaraz, a 20-year-old, is placed 3rd this week with 8,645 points. He had a chance to reclaim his second-ranked position, but due to injury and withdrawn he is no longer in the race. Yannick Sinner, a 22-year-old, is now ranked second with 8,710 points and a 360-point drop till next week. However, if he loses in the early rounds of the Monte Carlo Masters, he may fall to third position. This week's number one is 36-year-old Novak Djokovic, with 9,725 points and a 90-point decrease till next week. He will remain number one until the upcoming event. Please give this video a like, share it, and subscribe to our channel.